to another edition of Let's Play Metal Gear for the Game Boy by uh, Island Harbor 64. Well, uh, there's nothing for us to do on the first floor, so let's uh, get up to the second floor and uh, punch the uh, elevator, of course, because it's, it's a piece of crap. Cheap elevator. Alright, let's see what we got up here. Hmm, a uh, conveyor belt, but we can't get on that, so uh, let's uh, take our box and. Yup, you can uh, go on the conveyor belt with the box. Bet you thought uh, Metal Gear uh, Solid 2 was the first one to do that. Nope, this one. Kind of, it works in a similar fashion. As you can see, the uh, box is to. You know, the, we're in the yellow box, so the. Uh, Little uh, sorting machines are uh, sending us the way the other boxes go, I guess. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this this will get pretty. We're going to be doing this a lot in this episode because it's just how you get around this stage, you know. So I hope everyone has been having a good day or two since I've been away. I uh, figured since I'm actually getting subscribers now, I like you know have people to uh, disappoint if I don't. Uh, upload stuff, you know. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Also, this is a kind of a tricky, uh, I mean, the first time you play this. Oh, and we got another box, the, uh, red cardboard box. Great. So now what we can do is we can go back up and switch, uh, which box we're in while we're on the conveyor belt. And that'll, uh, get us up to the, uh, get us, let us get to different areas. Uh, right now we're on uh, area B1, so this is if we had taken the elevator down, this is where we would uh, have ended up, you know? So this guy, I don't think, this guy won't come down here, he'll stop just short of it, actually. So I just hide here, and as soon as he turns around, we'll put him to sleep, metaphorically speaking. No tranquilizer gun in this game, unfortunately. I suppose, uh, no tranquilizer gun than any uh, Metal Gear games. It's over here, I think there's a. Yeah, surveillance camera. Just uh, do your best to avoid it. Shouldn't be too hard for you at this stage, you know. This is the fellow that got seen like 20 times before, eh? There's, um. I mean, we could explore down here. But, uh, I mean, the, uh. How can I put this? Those little elevator things we took down with the box are going to take us to the different areas of this place anyway. So I don't think there's any point in me showing off the rest of B1 at the moment, because we're going to, you know, get to it as it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pertinent? There's a guard over there, as you can see on the radar, but uh, he, wanna, he doesn't seem to come down here, so, you know. Yep. Because, you know, intruders who want to use the elevator would only, uh, you know, come from that side, of course, you know. Hey, I wanted to go to the second floor. This thing can only go up one floor at a time. Cheap elevator. Yeah, that makes Snake mad, so he punches the button again. Up twice, damn it. Oh well. It's a Game Boy game, you can't, uh, fault it for not having a, a floor selecting mechanism, you know. Now, your first instinct to uh, do here would be to check out what's that way, but trust me, it just loops you around in a circle. Um, in fact, there's a lot of um, trial and error to this the first time you do it. In fact, it's very lucky I'm not doing this uh, blind because uh, it would be so tedious to watch. Like, you would be watching me trying this way and that way, and yeah, we still want yellow here. You know, so there's just no point. Um, yellow, 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 and then. I think the next one we want is red. Yep. So swap to red here. And it'll take you into this little building here. Yep. Now uh, equip your gas mask before going down here. So you're going to need that. Because, yep, it's another gas room. Go down this side first and get the level 3 keycard. Great. I didn't show much else of the uh, 
first floor either, because again, we're gonna go to, you know, you'll, you'll see it all eventually. Whew. That was close, he could have seen me there, eh? Okay, and open up, please. Great. I'll watch out, there's a camera here as well as the guard, so. You know, err on the side of caution, as they say. Haha. <laughs> And of course, when they wake up in this, you know, in these ones, when they wake up, they're just like, Hey, what happened? Like, did I... I guess I got knocked out by, like, something. You know? They fixed that in Metal Gear Solid 2, you know? Um, guys who, uh... Get, uh... You know, I think if you knock someone out, you'll actually, you know, they, they take their radios out and they make a call and they say, like, Yeah, I've been knocked out, you know? Like, there's obviously someone around here who wanted to knock me out. I think, um... That was actually one of the biggest leaps for them as far as uh, AI went, you know? Like, kind of added a new dimension to it. I also kind of like the way, if you got seen by one guard, it wouldn't immediately mean you were going to, uh... Oh, how do I say it? You weren't going to, uh... Do I want to go down here? Um... Can't remember now. Oh no, it's here, it's here. Yeah, we want to go down here. But yeah, like, you could be seen by one guard, and as long if you took him out quick enough, you could avoid the general alarm, you know? Just, just like in real life, you know? You wouldn't go into the other phase. Now they sort of, uh, in red again, you see, you can... Well, you can see what I'm doing, surely you're watching it, aren't you? So, uh, red up again, and there we go. But in Metal Gear Solid 3, I mean, even if you just got one... If one fella sees you, it's an alert mode, you know? Now, I'm not entirely sure because it's been a while. So I always get the keycard first, but I don't think you could actually get in here without the, th the level 3 keycard, so that's why we went that way first, you know? <laughs> wow, just, uh, just got that. Yeah, I think we want to go here. Pretty sure, anyway. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize while I lead you on the tedious thing all the way back here. Yep. And we have the blue box now, so we can uh, go another way as well. But first, unfortunately, we have to go all the way down to the basement again. Shit. I don't think he comes down here. It's been a while. Yeah, I think he's gonna just... Yep, don't check the uh, elevator or anything. or the, the ele Well, yeah, it's, it is an elevator. It's an elevator for boxes, isn't it? Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm, music so far in this game. It's, um... I think it's fit the mood, if you know what I mean. Uh... I mean, you know, this is kind of good sort of infiltrating music, you know? You know, it's kind of tense and everything. And they got the classic, uh being seen music, you know, gotta love that from, uh, what's that music? Yeah, the music's from, uh, Metal Gear 2, isn't it? When you get seen. Same they used for the VR missions in Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation. Come on, Mr. Elevator. Got places to be going. I don't know what, I, I don't know what kind of accent that was meant to be. I apologize for Sounding like nothing. Mm. Uh, come on, second floor. Ugh. From. Uh. We're doing okay though. We're uh, we're making good progress. Um, box, whatever. Well, we want the yellow one actually, don't we? Silly me. Uh, go a bit faster, please. And we want the... We actually do want the blue one right away here. Because there probably are other ways to uh, get up there, but, you know. Um, this seems to be the most direct one, if I'm wrong. Sorry. Now we want yellow here. Take us this way. I'll take us up. Then we want... Blue again. 
and yellow to get up here. Great. Now yeah, this part. What box is that? Ooh, guard coming. He's gonna come down here, but hopefully we can get him before he sees us. Yep. And get away before he wakes up, maybe? Fantastic. Don't go in there yet, just trust me on that. 